I was gonna say that Freely is one of the most, if not the most controversial vegan in the world, but I think beyond that, she's one of the most controversial humans in the world. Hey Miles, it's Freely, happy rising. So I'm very excited today because I get to control your diet for the day. Are you nervous? Uh, yeah, so I reached out to Freely a couple weeks ago and I was like, do you know what? Do you know what, yeah? Do you wanna just control my diet? Like, do you wanna just take control of me for 24 hours? Um, so here we are. 20 medjool dates. Soaking my 20 giant medjool dates, ready for my day to read in the morning. I'm actually well excited. Are we filming? No, we're filming. I really can't get comfy on this chair. It gets to the point where I don't even know what to do with this lion's mane. But anyways, this video is definitely a big celebration of fruit. I feel spiritually connected to it, you know? On such a deep level. I mean, would I have a permanent watermelon tattoo on my arm if that wasn't true? No. You guys have been requesting this challenge, if that's what you want to call it, since day dot. I love fruit. I could live off fruit. I've said that so many times. But I also eat a lot of fat. Like, a lot, a lot of fat, you know? I mean, you guys all know. You know I consume probably two avocados a day. Avocados. Um, I consume industrial quantities of tahini. So whilst I love eating a lot of fruit and I find it one of the most just satisfying and delicious things to eat. And I've eaten that way pretty much my whole life. Even before I knew about veganism, when I was competing in sport, I always ate a very high fruit diet. I was just naturally drawn towards it. I mean, I guess Freely would say it's because I'm a frugivore, so let's see if I am. I'm committed to this challenge and we're gonna do it. I'm giving myself a pep talk right now because I already feel the tahini withdrawals hitting me and it's not even noon yet. The thing is I haven't always agreed with everything that Freely has said or promoted in the past. I mean, I don't think I agree with everything that anyone says completely. I just kind of have my own mind about everything and that's just, that's just me. The reason I turned vegan was because of Freely. I knew about veganism way before that, right? I was plant-based for many years, but I didn't make that full-on connection of, oh my gosh, you know, this we're talking about the lives of sentient beings until Freely literally, you know, shoved it in my face with her message. This is years and years and years back, but her message was so powerful that I literally went vegan overnight. As soon as I really understood what was going on in the world, I just couldn't support that anymore. And again, even though I don't agree with everything that she promotes, I really, really fucking respect her for that. Freely, you might hate me for saying this and exposing you a little bit because on camera, you know, she comes across as such a badass, but off camera, getting to know her a little bit over the last few months, she's an absolute sweetheart and I have so much respect that she literally dedicates her life to the cause of saving the lives of animals, other sentient beings that we share the planet with, so... Yeah, the thing is, the diet that she promotes is obviously seen by most people as extremely extreme. It's definitely very different to the way that I normally eat. So I did tell Freely that on average I eat about three and a half thousand calories a day, which I know is a lot for most people. But please remember that I have a metabolism that is faster than... I don't really know what to say it's faster than, but basically it's just very fast. I need a lot of food and on top of that, I also exercise frequently. So yeah, Freely has created me a diet plan based on the amount of calories that I need. Again, I don't count calories. I don't really care about calories. I just eat as much as I care for. And I think that one of the things that has always satisfied me with my meals in the past, or just currently, is the inclusion of fat and protein. So it's gonna be interesting, even though I'm gonna be eating large volume, calorically dense meals, is it actually gonna fill me up? Will I feel satisfied? At the end of this video, to make it a bit more exciting, I'm gonna put everything through chronometer that I eat in this day, and it will be very interesting to see, I mean, I haven't followed a completely raw living foods diet ever, so it'll be really interesting to see what the spectrum of nutrients comes out like in chronometer as well. Anyway, let's do this, so. Over to Freely. Breakfast, let's break the fast, shall we? So it's important to have something hydrating, something sweet, something juicy, something full of fuel. So I suggest, you want to try the Datorade. So I suggest you have a strawberry Datorade and that should be delicious, okay? Because you said you do have a lot of strawberries around at the moment, but it's probably gonna be better having frozen strawberries. So like a bag of frozen strawberries. That is a good combo with about 20 dates. Best to soak those dates as well and have some coconut water. Get some fresh coconut. It's gonna be probably about 1200 calories, I would say. This is 20 
soaked giant medjool dates that I soaked last night in preparation for my Daterade. The thing is, I've never had a Daterade before. When I eat fruit, I naturally gravitate more towards the, the really water-rich fruits because I feel like, especially after exercise, they're just like extra hydrating, extra sweet. So normally I would eat a lot of like watermelon, cantaloupe melon, papaya if it's good, mango, apples, all that kind of stuff. But having a 20-date smoothie I can't even imagine how sweet this is going to be. So I wanted to say that with the meals today, I'm going to film myself eating every single mouthful and do a time lapse. Um, because I know that these meals are kind of very, well, for normal people, they're very abnormal. Um, and obviously such large quantities of fruit. So yeah, I'm going to do a time lapse so you can see me eat and enjoy every single mouthful. I couldn't find an actual coconut, so I bought this. This is the raw coconut water from Rebel Kitchen. Never tried this one before. I'm not actually the biggest fan of coconut water. I feel like it tastes like those rehydration sachets that I was forced to drink when I was like cramping in sport and stuff. I don't know, maybe I've just had bad coconut water, but actually that's a lie. I have had good coconut water in Bali. I had the most incredible coconut water, and then I realized, oh, it's actually supposed to be sweet. These soaked dates are so squishy, they kind of remind me of prunes. I'm gonna taste the date water to see how sweet it is. Woo! Oh my lord, that is sweet! So these again are 20 big medjool dates, pitted of course. Have made that mistake before, can end up in tragedy. Do you know what, because it is so sweet and that would be such a waste. I'm going to put a little bit in. Got some frozen straws, couldn't find organic, but these will do. This coconut water is actually pink. Um, I'm going to taste it, hold on. Mmm, that's actually really nice. Really nice. And it's blend. Guys, I'm probably going to have to do a refill because this is not going to fit in this litre mason jar. Oh, look at that though. So frothy. This is the sweetest thing I've ever tasted. It reminds me of something. don't know what it is, but it's absolutely beautiful. Guys, this is gonna become a regular for me. This is absolutely delicious. Now, if I was left to my own devices, I would definitely add, I would usually add fat, right? Even to, even to a mix like this that has 20 dates, I would add something like hemp seeds or almond butter, peanut butter, because for me, it's just a lot more satisfying. But having said that, I've never drank 20 dates with strawberries, with coconut water in one go before, so cheers. I just find creamy smoothies really satisfying to like, Slurp down with a soup spoon. I'm not sure why. Actually, I am sure why, because you get all the frothy bits on top. Gonna do a bit of editing while I slurp. Let the time lapse begin. Still hungry. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Like, if you ever need a sweet fix in the morning, just blend up dates, berries, all that kind of stuff. Again, for me, even to that mix, I would probably add in some hemp seeds or a little bit of almond butter because if I'm being honest, I gulped that down pretty quickly too. So I feel quite full, but not completely satisfied. It'll be interesting to see how long it takes for me to get hungry again, considering that was a large meal, a high calorie meal, but just fruit and no overt fats, which. Yeah, I mean, I don't usually do. I mean, I do do when I'm just eating fruit whole, but in smoothies, I always add fat or raw vegan protein powder. It's just a lot more satisfying for me, so... I could really eat meal number two right now, but I'm gonna wait. I've got to that point where I'm kind of craving something savory, but can't have it yet. Um, I always do that. Like, I always start with sweet fruits and then, like, move on to something savoury. I do still think that everyone should eat, should include a lot of whole, fresh fruit in their diet. It's those kind of people that avoid fruit 
that then feel the need to eat desserts, sweets, candies, refined carbohydrates. But it really is true, and I know from personal experience, as someone that used to be completely addicted to refined sugar when I was younger, that eating enough whole fresh fruit really dampens that craving for for you know more junkier processed foods. I mean, it definitely does for me. So I, I suggest that you snack uh, whenever you want. Eat whenever you want, eat as much fruit as you care for your favorite fruit at the moment. And if you're out and about or even at home, you can have date and coconut rolls. Have a little box of date and coconut rolls. That's gonna be about maybe 600 calories or so. Uh, it's, it's just great and convenient and they are healthy and delicious. They're really good. So more dates, yes. <laughs> All right, so, oh, so not in camera, Miles. Good job. So, Freedy said that if I wanted to snack, which you guys know, I'm really not a snacker. Like, I have big meals, and I feel like because my meals are so satisfying, I just don't feel the need to snack. Of course, if I want to snack, I will. And usually, ironically, it would be fruit. But again, my main meals wouldn't just be fruit. But, yeah, Freedy said to snack on date and coconut balls, which I couldn't find. And I didn't make because I'm very lazy, but I do have an alternative, which I hope will be acceptable. These are the naked bars. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of them. Um, they're great for kids, like a little sweet bar that you can give to kids. They're very similar to date and coconut rolls. They are fully raw. The ingredients are dates, cashews, raisins, almonds, blueberries, and that's it. So I'm going to have a couple of these as a snack. Again, I wouldn't usually snack in between meals because I just wouldn't feel the need, but any eating opportunity, I'm there. What are your guys' favorite flavor of these um, naked bars? The lemon drizzle ones used to be my favorite, but then the bonoffi ones, guys, you need to try the bonoffi ones. They are insane. And these blueberry muffin ones, mm. they're pretty insane too, and they taste exactly like a blueberry muffin, but healthy. Also, speaking of snacks, I don't, what is my problem with not getting my fucking head in the camera? Speaking of snacks, I picked up these, I don't even know if these are technically raw. These are freeze-dried strawberry slices. I think they're raw, because they're probably dehydrated. Kind of dry and crispy. And very delicious. I have some leftover sushi rice that I made last night, when I was kind of putting a big bowl together. And you know what, I just want to dive in with like some sweet chili sauce, or a bit of sriracha and avocado. But I'm staying true to the cause and it's just gonna be fruit till dinner. And this next meal, I'm pretty excited about because I love banana ice cream, but I've never had 10 bananas. Probably the most bananas I've had before in an ice cream is probably like five, six. Then I would add other things and like berries and then top it with, you know, like coconut, hemp seeds, almond butter, all that kind of stuff. But today we're staying true to the cause and it's gonna be what is it going to be? I forgot. Back to Freely. So lunch, I do suggest an ice cream, but I was thinking it's going to be too cold for you, but you did say you want to get into an ice cream. So I think that's going to be fine. Just maybe wait till it gets to room temperature. It's up to you. Uh, all right. So 10 bananas plus five dates, an ice cream with a topping of your choice. Like you can have berries again, whatever you like on top. You can do like a carob sauce. Um, yeah, if you can blend dates and berries and put that over the top or coconut and dates. That's probably going to be around 1200 calories and you can top it with some sesame seeds. I like the whole seed rather than the tahini so much, but tahini is okay here and there. I'm definitely going to make the carob sauce. So I'm going to blend some carob powder. I would usually use cocoa powder, cacao powder, but Freedy's not a fan of that. So I'm doing as I'm told. Going to blend some carob, carob, carob. I'm going to blend some carob with dates and water and make like a like a thick chocolatey sauce, kind of like a syrup. I hope, I mean, I've never made this before, so. So yeah, we're gonna put 10 in. I think I have about 15 here. And then five more dates, and then even more dates in the carob sauce. That's a total of, depending on how much I use in the sauce, 28 dates. A little bit of carob. Again, I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use at this, but. Maybe a little bit more. Three dates and some water. Oh my God, that's good. It tastes like a, like a hot chocolate, but cold. Well, room temperature. And the dates, I really don't know 
how this blender is going to cope with this. I think I should have put the dates at the bottom. I'm going to give it a splash of coconut water just to help it thin a little bit. Oh, would you look at that. It's like a big giant bowl of vanilla ice cream. Guys, I cannot wait to dive in. Look at that. Beautiful sauce. This is not my prettiest creation, but trust me, it tastes good. Guys, would you look at that? It's basically just like a big bowl of healthy ice cream with chocolate sauce. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, most people wouldn't because it's 10 fucking bananas, but I don't know. I'm looking forward to this. Oh shit, I forgot to put the sesame seeds on top. How could I? My favorite part. Do you know what? I would love, I would actually kill for a drizzle of runny tahini on this, but I guess the black sesame seeds will do. Cheers. It tastes absolute bomb. I mean, who doesn't love an ice cream, especially with a chocolate sauce, but, but this is just too much of the same thing. Like I could happily carry on eating fruit, but I'm just craving something different, you know, but it's absolutely fucking delicious. I'm still hungry. Something salty, you know? I want something salty, man. Even just some like salty cucumber, like dunked in tahini. Mmm. Based on flavor, I give that mix a 10 out of 10. I mean, <laughs> clearly. Do you know what, guys? I am actually still a bit hungry, though. And that sushi rice is like staring at me from across the kitchen. It's not because I'm craving cooked food. I can have raw days. I just want something savory and fatty, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Nice cream is always bomb. You just can't beat it. But. Where was I going with that? Woo! That ice cream was good, but let me tell you, I'm freezing my balls off right now. Um, I know Freely said let it get to room temperature, but if I'm gonna have an ice cream, I want it like cold, cold, because that's just how I enjoy it. Because then it's actually like an ice cream, you know, rather than a smoothie. I am pretty full and satisfied, although I can't lie, it would have been a lot better with a drizzle, a big drizzle of salty peanut butter. Peanut butter on top. Um, but I'm not complaining. I get to eat something savory for dinner. I get to eat more fat for dinner. Bring it on. So dinner, I know you like a bit of savory. We all like some savory at the end of the day. So we're gonna have some nori, all right? Nori rolls. And I want you to reserve that coconut flesh from the coconuts in the morning and put some strips into the nori wrap. You know, just a couple, fill it out a bit with vegetables, pack in the vegetables, get some greens in there as well. And um, garlic butter, gonna get some garlic butter in there, avocado. I know you love your avo, me too. But garlic butter is delicious and I'm going to give you the recipe for that and it's very, very simple. That's going to add up to about 35, 3600 calories, which is what you said you're probably going to need for the day. And each day varies on the frugivore diet, okay? It's going to be, you know, different recipes, a lot of variety, different amounts of, you know, bananas and dates and everything. Okay, so over to you, Miles. That's your day. Do me proud. I am well excited for the sushi. I'm gonna warn you now that my sushi rolling is absolutely horrendous. I just realized that the other hoodie I was wearing was covered in pink Daterade and bits of nice cream, so third out for change of the day. Very excited about the macadamia garlic butter, which is kind of like the sauce, and also the sun-dried tomato dipping sauce. I'm obsessed with sun-dried tomatoes, so I, I already know this is gonna taste amazing. Usually I would, I don't know, I put a lot of greens in my smoothies, and usually lunch is a big like Buddha bowl with greens and stuff like that. This is my type of dinner, I would eat this like regularly for dinner. You know, lots of greens, lots of color. Got the fats from the macadamia, the avocado, 
This meal is gonna hit the spot. So yeah, the presentation is gonna be shite. I'm already warning you that. I mean, my food presentation is bomb. It's always on point with my bowls, but things like sushi. I was very happy that 3D told me to put some sauerkraut in this. This is the sauerkraut that we eat. I don't know what regular grocery stores you can find this in. I find it in my health food shop. I don't think I've had a dinner, like a savory meal, without sauerkraut for literally about six months. Unless I've eaten in a restaurant, but when I'm at home, all over the stuff. While I'm preparing dinner, I'm snacking on some of these green grapes. I don't know where they're from, but they're actually really sweet. When it comes to grapes, I can go to town on them. Can't ever open a box and not finish them, so... Gonna down all of these. First we're gonna make the garlic butter, which is with macadamias, fresh garlic, and she said a little bit of salt water. So, glad I can have a bit of salt. Didn't actually say how many macadamias, so I'm gonna be quite generous. Quite a bit of garlic, two cloves, a little bit of water. Oh, this looks so thick and creamy. A little bit dangerous, living life on the edge here. Mmm, that is absolutely beautiful. This could be a dressing for any kind of salad. All right, we're making sun-dried tomato sauce. She said a couple of sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna go with three, just because I fucking love them. did an extra sundry tomato just cuz just cuz you know always have to go extra nice locally grown prickly cucumber I always eat the middle bit I just have to mm. I'm gonna put some of the sauce in before I roll. I think that's what it's for. Mmm, look at that. Forgot to add the greens in. I'm adding in some fresh rocket. This is actually quite therapeutic. <coughs> like in a strange way. Lots and lots of sauerkraut. Forgot to put it in the sushi, so just making up like a little bowl here. Some extra avocado. Always, always. Now we're talking. Guys, you know this is my type of bowl. I will say the sushi has kind of fallen apart. I made three rolls and just chopped them up, but all the ingredients that didn't fit in there, I've just added to this bowl. Added some extra avocado. This macadamia sauce, guys. Cheers. Mmm. That sauce, that dipping sauce, honestly one of the nicest things I've ever tasted. I'm still hungry. I mean, for me, that was a very small bowl to have for dinner. Usually dinner is my largest meal by far, and I'd have like a lot more volume. Um, yeah, I'm still a little bit peckish. I mean, freely, on WhatsApp, you did say that I could have tahini in my, in my day somewhere, and I haven't so far. And I'm not even eating my own liquid gold tahini. This is some raw organic tahini and very thick and sludgy tahini. But I think I'm gonna put a dent in this because it's still a bit peckish. No way near as runny as liquid gold, but it will do. I couldn't resist, I'm eating this cold sushi rice out of the pan. <laughs> Cheers. So yeah, plugged everything into chronometer. Here's a list of all of the foods I ate that day, not necessarily in order. 30 medjool dates, a bag of frozen strawberries, the coconut water, the naked blueberry muffin fruit and nut bar, 
10 bananas, carob powder, nori sheets, a whole avocado, macadamia nuts, cucumber, carrots, arugula, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, bell peppers, sauerkraut, dried strawberries, and the unhulled black sesame seeds. I didn't include the additional bits I ate that weren't supposed to be part of the plan, like the extra raw tahini, and what did I eat at the end of the day? The sushi rice didn't include that. So according to Chronometer, I actually ate a lot more than freely recommended. It was 4,325 calories, which again is more than what was in the plan, but that's because I ate the whole avocado and more nuts in the sauce. What did you expect? I was under the impression that because I was eating so many calories that everything, minerals, vitamins, micronutrients would all be covered. But looking at the minerals, everything pretty good apart from the selenium, which could easily just be bumped up by having one macadamia, not macadamia, one Brazil nut, and the zinc a tiny bit low, which could easily be bumped up just by a sprinkle of seeds like some hemp seeds, sunflower pumpkin seeds or a drizzle of liquid gold. Vitamins all pretty good apart from B12, which obviously I take a supplement for, and vitamin D, again, I supplement for that. A little bit low on vitamin E, which could easily be bumped up just by some more avocado or a little handful of nuts or seeds. But again, guys, I ate almost four and a half thousand calories. I would have assumed that because I ate that much that everything would be covered, but in experiments in the past or whenever I've just tracked a random day, um, and even when I've eaten a bit lower than this, everything has been completely covered very, very easily. And I think that's because in terms of like vitamins and minerals, I consume huge amounts of greens. Um, and there was some greens in this day, just, just not enough for me. Total carbohydrates, almost a thousand grams. That definitely has to be a record for me. Protein, so the protein, 53 grams. Again, that is very low for me. Usually I'd probably get around 100 grams because I do include a lot of things like beans, legumes, tofu. The amino acid spectrum is not fully covered. Lysine is quite low. I'm pretty sure the unnatural vegan would have something to say about that, but anyway. And yeah, the fat, again, a lot lower than I would usually consume because I usually consume a lot. And again, when I show that in my videos, that the amount I'm consuming, it's not to say you should eat that amount. In fact, I quite openly say, I probably eat way too much for most people, but it's just what works for me, just what makes me feel amazing. I think it's one of the reasons why my skin is always glowing. Well, that and all of the fruit, because of course fruit, very high in vitamin C, collagen synthesis, you know all of that stuff. So just to round up and a few things I wanna point out from the day, I actually really enjoyed it. Again, because I just love sweet fruit could eat fruit all day. First thing I wanna say is that Daytorade. Guys, that Daytorade. It tasted absolutely incredible, and I've said that I love to start the day with a lot of fresh fruit, and usually I do. You'll see in all of my videos, I can eat a huge whole watermelon. Again, if I have mangoes, I can eat 10. Um, if it's grapes, I can eat boxes and boxes and boxes, and I feel fine. In fact, I'm thriving when I eat the whole fruit. And I do make smoothies a lot as well, but usually it's with different types of fruits and some fat and a lot more greens as well. Obviously, dates are such a condensed source of sugar, good sugar, of course, but 20 of them blended into a jar, which I gulped down very, very quickly, again, with a whole bag of strawberries. As much as I enjoyed it, I did have a crash afterwards that I've never experienced before after eating fruit, and I actually felt like I had to take a little nap. Again, that doesn't happen when I consume the whole fresh fruit and eat it at, I guess, a regular pace, because again, with that, it was 20 condensed large medjool dates, which I gulped down in under five minutes, so. So yeah, even though it was delicious, I don't think it would be a regular breakfast for me. I would prefer to stick to whole fruits and specifically water-rich fruits and eat them whole. Again, my spectrum of nutrients, according to Chronometer, um, didn't even cover everything. And I ate, again, almost four and a half thousand calories. So it has me thinking, what if it was a normal person? <laughs> A normal person say a woman that's a lot smaller and doesn't need as many calories but is eating this type of mainly fruit diet and they're only consuming about 2,000 calories what would their spectrum of nutrients look like if they were literally eating half of what I ate again I know that every day is different you don't have to hit a hundred percent of all of your macro or micronutrient targets every day like Freely said even on the frugivore diet day-to-day -day things can differ but I don't know, that just got me thinking. I think that a high fruit diet can be very healthy, but it doesn't have to be, you know, all fruit or the other extreme of like very high fat and low carb. There is a middle ground and that middle ground is kind of how I normally eat. And I know that's the way of eating that will keep me vegan long term, which is obviously the main goal. That and to enjoy my food and to feel satisfied, which I most certainly do. Anyone that bashes fruit and compares it to refined sugar should be shot and put in jail. 
like long-term sentence. So yeah, Freely, thank you for participating. Thank you for turning me vegan. I'll love you forever for that. Thank you for speaking up for the animals. Do I promote a high fruit diet? Yes, but just with the inclusion of a lot of other whole plant-based foods, which I think is more sustainable, enjoyable, and realistic for most people long-term. It definitely is for me anyway. I don't know, am I a frugivore? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. As always, I'm sending you all so much love. And I'll see you on the next video. Laters.